We're at our last stop on the Chevy Pizza Crawl at Tucci's Pizza. It's been a fantastic day. I really want to take the time to thank these folks that came from Chevy for their hospitality, for this amazing idea. I mean, Owen, I had pretty much thought of everything. And when they came to me with this idea, I was really blown away. The people here seem to have a great time. We're already making plans for next month. We're about to have probably what could be the best pizza around as our last stop, but we're gonna see. We're gonna let everyone else judge it. Um, let's go and find the folks from Chevy and give them a thanks. Alex, Alex, come on over here. I was just telling my viewers that I, I was completely blown away when Stephanie called me up with this idea. I just, I thought of it from different aspects, but it never came down to actually saying, hey, why doesn't Chevy give, me, give us some cars to drive around for the day, test drive them? I've heard things from people about the cars that you would have never, ever heard from them because they would have never stepped into the dealership. You've now got 23, well, 20 people like us, not you know Chevy people, that have test drove these cars and now have formulated opinions on them that never would have gotten into those cars otherwise. Would you say that that's a success as far as a social media campaign would go? I would say it's a total success. I mean, some of the of the tweets that I've been reading um, are fantastic. They're saying you know things like, "Wow, Chevy is now cool." I mean, things that you know. What, what we're trying to do really is you know we're taking the dealership to the people in a way but in a way that's very non-aggressive, in a way that's on their terms. You know, this is not about making a sale. It's about making friendships, building relationships, and exposing people to the brand in a way that they wouldn't have been exposed of otherwise. I would have never gone in to test drive that Corvette, or test drive that Equinox, or test drive the Malibu, or the Tahoe. And now, I'm actually considering getting one. So. This has been an overwhelming success in my eyes. And I want to say thanks because you've opened us all towards not only Chevys, but towards a new way to do things. And you guys should really feel good about that because it's one of the most genius things I've seen done social media-wise in, in years. And I think you guys really should be commended for what you've uh, accomplished. We're sitting here with Seth Schneider of the Learning Express in Boca Raton and Wellington. You might know him as Boca Toy Store. Out of all the cars you drove today, which one would you say impressed you the most? Oh, without question, the Corvette was extremely impressive. It was very refined, even though it has a tight suspension, you don't feel any bumps or anything like that, and it was just so smooth, and it was really, really impressive. Dory, which car would you say impressed you the most? Uh, I'm going to wear my shirt, just so everybody knows that I love Worst Pizza, and... Punta.com. WorstPizza.com, and Chevy, and I really liked... The Equinox. I really like that. I drove that first, and I like the Malibu, but the Camaro uh, was absolutely fabulous. I would get a Camaro tomorrow. What All right, Owen, we got some two-cheese pizza that just came out of the oven. It looks like a nice, fresh cheese pie. Do you mind if I touch it? Because you know I won't let you touch mine. Touch your what? Perfectly cooked, crisp, nice. Out of all the cars you've driven in today and drove yourself, which would you say was the most impressive to you? Well, I do have to say, I was co-pilot in the Corvette. That was a beautiful ride. But leaving here, I will be driving the Camaro, which will be equally as fun, I think. So I don't want to answer just yet, because I have one more ride to take before I can decipher. Now, if you were, if you were in the market for a car yes. and everything was equal, yes. how likely are you after today to consider a Chevy product as opposed to before you came here? I would absolutely consider a Chevy product. I have never driven Chevy before, and I think um, based on my experience today, um, it, it, I'm a shoe in On a scale of 1 to 10, everything being equal, you need a new car, how likely are you to step into the Chevy dealership to get one? To actually, to, I'd say a 7. I'd go, That's I'd go promising. Try it out. I'd go try it out. And which one would you like? The Camaro is pretty tempting. Yeah, the Camaro Bumblebee, right? Would you get it in yellow or would you get it in that fancy green that they had in the showroom? No, I would get it all black, black on black on black. Okay, so now, in the cars that you've been in, yep. if you were in the market, and I'm sorry to sound repetitive to everyone around me, how likely would you be on the scale of 1 to 10 to walk into a Chevy dealership and get a Chevy now as opposed to a Ford or one of the other cars? Um, I'd probably be very tempted to go with the Chevy. I've driven German my whole life, so I definitely need to look at the specs. Uh, but I'm very, I'm sold, you know, on the Camaro. Would you say that an event like this certainly brought up their coolness factor? Absolutely. It's, uh, you know, being there with your friends and, and videotaping and tweeting and taking pictures, it really does bring, you know, it makes Chevy feel like you guys can all come together and have a blast. The most talkative guy in the room, Joel Codner. How's it going? 
Pretty good. Have you been in all the cars today? No, I haven't. I have not been in the Equinox. So you'll hit the Equinox on the way back? I think so. Anyway, out of the cars you've been in, which one would you most likely go out and buy? You know, I like the, uh, I like the Tahoe. I like Tahoe a lot. Plus, I got a family now, so I need all the room I can get. Diapers and wipes and all that stuff. Got to gotta haul it. You can change your kid in the back of that Tahoe. It's perfect height. Change both of them. And myself. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely after this event, if everything was equal and you were looking for a car to go into a Chevy dealership before um, we had the event? Uh, you know, Chevy really wasn't on my radar as far as buying cars, and I'm going to need one at the end of the year. So uh, I would definitely consider one now. I'd say probably an 8. So would you say Chevy has brought the coolness factor to you? Absolutely, yeah. What was your favorite car you drove today? I think Chevy Camaro was actually my most favorite. I, I do like a car that has power and some muscle to it. Now, I, I mean, obviously, my main concern for wanting to talk to everyone is to find out, has Chevy managed to bring the coolness factor back? I think Chevy has stepped up their game. I think that they've made enough cars and enough markets to, to be able to hit everybody. You know, Joel was saying that he's got a family now, that maybe a Tahoe would be something for him. You know, you got a guy that maybe doesn't have a family. He definitely might look at the, the Camaro. And somebody that might not be able to afford such a big car like a Tahoe, they have the Equinox. So I think they've been able to take all their different models and, and, and kind of bring them a little bit closer to what the market's looking for. I should say, uh, as far as the Chevy thing and as far as, you know, comparing them, uh, I originally ordered a 2011 Ford Mustang and I'm thinking about switching to the Camaro. So uh, how likely are you, especially a man of your moolah, so you have the luxury to go and buy a Chevy? Now that you've ordered the Ford, how likely are you to switch it? I'm thinking about switching. Uh, talk to Alex later on and see what kind of deal he can get me in. Uh, probably going to switch. Well, how about we go to Alex together and put him on the spot? Somebody so much like Johnny Bond who has a deposit on a Ford Mustang and is actually considering taking back his money to go and get the Camaro after driving it today. That's a very successful campaign. You might have made not only my sale, but his sale as well for Chevy. Johnny Bond wants to know what's his next steps and how does he get a little bit of a price break off of it for being a part of this. Well, you know, th this is our favorite type of scenario. It's what we call a conquest sale. So if we can get you out of a competitor's product and into one of ours, you know, it really makes our day. Um, you know, we do have what we call the friends and family discount program. So it's it's basically it's almost the same cost of that of an uh, that an employee could get, um, and it's definitely better than what you could negotiate with a dealer. So we'll be glad to get you a discount certificate okay. so that we can get you into that Camaro soon. To it. All right. I mean, you know, it's just, it's another one of those benefits. If you team up and come with us on these events and you're fortunate enough to win it, you do have the opportunity to also get a discount on the car that you're looking to buy from Chevy. Where else can you get this type of, of service? You get to test drive the car all day. You get free food courtesy of these places. We're here at Tucci's now, very generous. And now you can also hook up with somebody to potentially go into that dealer and get the discount. Chevy, this is a good event. Way too many to What is this, a yoga ad? Yes. Get up close and go wider right lens. Fuck off. Okay. I'm poor. <laughs> it's about here. Yes. Oh, it's here.